What's going on guys, we are back once again, and we are going to be talking about another movie today. So obviously what you're seeing on your screens right now, we are looking at Third Days of Night, Dark Days. So this is the sequel to Third Days of Night. Now again, obviously, you have where we have a familiar face return. We have, of course, Stella returning again as a brand new actress of what happened in the previous events of the very first film and in this one she's trying to get revenge on any vampire that she can trying to figure out what the origin is for these vampires where they come from why was alaska attacked as well as also uh why they decide to pick out of everything why they pick alaska now she also comes across this group of hunters that have lost families as well as anybody to vampires and they are targeting the main vampire by the name of Lilith who is their main target now through the entirety of the film they are I, I remember some of this again guys it's been a while since I have seen this film so I do recommend you guys watch it so just this is kind of just the overview of this film what they do is they try to come up with a collaborate plan to take on Lilith and be able to not only destroy the vampire race but also be able to rectify it to where this won't be able to happen again we do have another hunters we also have another uh, vampire who is actually uh, allies with humans now again this is kind of the same deal what we had with uh, the previous movie we have a lot of horror we have a lot of action we have a lot of drama and there's a lot of i would say not redemption but justice and revenge on uh stella's part due to everything that happened in the previous movie because of what happened to her husband and what happened to the townspeople and how she was really the only survivor or one of the survivors of the lucky few within that town now Again, I do enjoy this movie to a certain degree, but at the same time, again, it's very interesting how they try to go above and beyond on what they're trying to explain about this uh, movie. Does it always sell? Not particularly. Uh, some of it's kind of confusing if you're not paying attention and also if it's been a while since you've seen the first movie or even trying to watch this one you kind of got to watch one back to back to be able to kind of understand what's going on i do believe there are books on this as well so you might want to read that as well so you have more of an understanding of what's going on and you even get to know why the reason was why they even went after the ones in alaska is because of one of the ones the main uh vampire leader went rogue and he wanted revent he wanted to go and just have a slaughter and that's the reason why he went to alaska so overall this does have everything that you personally want within a vampire movie has a lot of i would say somewhat jump scares has a lot of action thriller adventure horror drama everything you probably would want in a vampire movie so definitely just check out 30 days a night um dark days you may enjoy it, you may like it, you may hate it. I don't know, guys. Again, it's been a while since I have seen this movie, but I do recommend it for anyone that has not seen it. So, overall, if you guys have seen it, great. If you haven't, give it a try. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments down below. If you guys have seen it, just let me know either way. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos, and I'll see you as always on the next one.